Are you guys amped up? I know I am. We're here at the Fab Defense booth and it is EWA 2024. Make sure you subscribe to TFB TV Showtime if you want to see our live coverage from EWA. As I mentioned, I'm here at Fab Defense. We're looking at the AMP. Tell me everything about this chassis system for just about any pistol, right? With a rail. Uh, most pistols, yeah. I think we'll be able to fit most pistols, yeah. So basically, we had a lot of conversion kits for the Glock, but People have other guns for some reason. I don't, I don't know. Weird. Yeah. So we said, let's put out this system, the AMP, that will be able to easily uh, fit it to different farms. So in this case, actually, I have it for a Glock. It's very easy for me to take the adapter out, put my Glock 17 in, and you can immediately notice something that's very cool. Everyone is moving now to slide-mounted optics, whether it's the MOS system or other pistol with other systems. Now I can put my firearm with the already mounted uh, optics inside here, and I'm better. Right. I'm better. And I don't need to zero anything. That's right. actually a very important distinction. When you use any form of a conversion kit, you have to zero it because the, the distance between your actual barrel and the sights You're is... changing your offset. Yeah. I got to zero myself in. I don't need to zero myself in my using. Now this system, by the way, I can use the already mounted uh, iron sights or the factory mounted sure. sights. So you're gonna be way more effective using whatever optic, and you can because of this open chassis system. Yeah, that's the whole idea. You can actually notice that here we installed, it comes with those adapters. So I have these uh, adapters that lifted the, the upper part of my handguard here, so I can look through this window. Now this is the AMP, this is the AMP Pro. Basically, the AIM Pre Pro, if you don't have slide mounted optics or if you want bigger sights, you can get the Pro version, which is covered. It has aluminum, full rail, aluminum Picatinny rail on top. Get, you get it with your backup sights, and it's basically the same uh, unit. So you can take actually this Pro upgrade, you can take it off, you can buy it separately, you can do whatever you want. Now, we were talking about the fact that this will fit different pistols. The reason it will fit different pistols from the get-go, we designed it, that we have three different parts that are interchangeable. I have um, a slide adapter, so um, uh, a rail adapter, excuse me. So any type of rails that you have, uh, for example, this is adapter A, A fits Glocks. Mm -hmm. This is a B, B fits the more standard Picatinny um, mm -hmm. that you'll find on other pistols. Right. Not every pistol out there with a rail, but but most of them. Yeah, most of them. So, you, know, I just that. you have the charging adapter, which basically you have it uh, adapters number one, two, and three, where three is a higher one for Zig, for example. Um, I was talking to my representative in France, and they showed there there are now uh, the police there is trying the 320, for mm -hmm. example. Right. So it, it needs a, a higher a adapter. adapter. Yeah. Um, and I have the the pistol adapter, which will fit into uh, uh, the rear part of the pistol. That's actually the adapter that will change the most, because right. most of the time guys will keep these and they'll just change it according to their pistol. Right. So when I have these three different adapters, I can basically, in Israel we just 3D printed adapters for the 43X, because the 43X is very popular. They guys in Israel have only license for one pistol, so they want to have a conversion kit. We, we made one for other. Sure. So the main takeaway here, Itai, is that with the AMP system, I can use almost any pistol as long as it has a rail because you make these separate components where the rail of the pistol will index on the inside of the chassis. Then you've got this grip adapter that will index against the rear side of the chassis. Between those two things, it stabilizes the pistol inside the chassis. And then you have the third component, this charging adapter, that also you can swap out for your different pistol, and boom, you've got something that's almost universal as long as you have a railed pistol. Did I just get that correct? You, that, that's perfect, because the idea is it's almost universal. I like your definition. It's almost because I didn't make one system where, you know, you can fit every pistol, but it will be wobbly, because it, it, it got to fit. Oh, no, I went one pistol. Every pistol will go in, will be very snug fitting. 
will be made for it, but it, universal. I can change those adapters and we'll be good to go. And the cool thing about this one too is because you have the option to run it with an open top, if you already have a pre-zeroed pistol optic and it's on your gun, you just pop it in there and you're still zeroed, you're good to go. That's, that is actually my recommended way of, oh, sure. of going it with it. Makes yeah. the most sense. So now, the most important questions for any show. When, how much? Available now, MSRP for uh, the AMP is about 150 bucks, mm -hmm. 150 to 160 which I think makes it very competitive. Sure. Uh, and the AMP Pro comes with a lot of other things, backup sides, right. backpacks, especially designed backpacks. The backpack. price goes up from there. And the price goes up, but this for a, 150 bucks, you're good to go, man. Including the stock or maybe a brace if you're in the US. Um, in the US, this is a stock. The price includes the forward grip, which is very important because we, you gotta have a grip on this. It includes uh, uh, an M -lock, an, a Picatinny adapter for M-Lock, so you can put your red dot mm -hmm. here on top in case you don't have slide mounted right. optics. includes those uh, risers. Right. And uh, that's it, basically. Okay, right. 150 bucks, and then I get these components from you if I need them, right? Yeah, you can buy them separately. The price is almost negligible. I mean, and, I mean, between the two of us, we're living in a modern world where guys will adapt everything. Right. A guy will get this and he'll be able to adapt it to his now. Or 3D printers out there might be able to even I'm, make I'm, for I'm their own pistol. We designed it, we're doing 3D printing uh, for the 43X, for example. I can tell you we had a customer that tried to do 3D printing for, the air, for their own man, uh, pistol mm -hmm. in Israel. Um, and they, they kind of, uh, they, they did it, but we actually improved on their design yeah. and now they have uh, an adapters for them. But again, it's just adapters. Itai, thank you so much for walking us through the AMP series, guys. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more from IWA 2024. Take care.